Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce and Elementor video series. In this video, we will see how we can customize the WooCommerce My Account page using Elementor Pro. Right now, I am on the WooCommerce website. This is the dummy WooCommerce website and you can see the default layout of the My Account page created by WooCommerce. So whenever you install WooCommerce on your WordPress website, it creates the support pages automatically and My Account page is one of them. So this is the layout of the My Account page. If I click on address, you will see the details of the address and the account details. However, this default layout does not look good and we can customize this layout using Elementor Pro. So on this website, I'm using WooCommerce, Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin. So let me go to pages and let me show you the My Account page here. So I'm on the pages and this is the My Account page. If I go to edit, you will see this My Account page. This is actually a WooCommerce shortcode that is used to create the My Account default page. So click on edit with Elementor. Here we go. So this is the shortcode which is showing up here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to add new section. This will be one column section. Click on the plus sign and here search for my account. So this is the element that we are going to use. Click on it, drag it and drop it here. So you will see this element, the my account element only if you have Elementor Pro plugin installed on your website. Now this is the default layout of this my account element. You can change the layout. So here you can see the layout is vertical and horizontal. If I click on horizontal, you will see all the tabs are arranged in horizontal layout. So right now there are no orders, so it will not show any order here. Dashboard. Let me change it to vertical again. Now here you will see the spacing between the tabs and the content. So you can reduce that. This one looks good. Now these are the tabs. The name of the first tab is dashboard orders downloads now let's see alignment to the center so you will see if i change the alignment to center all the tabs are arranged to the center all right let's go to the style settings from here you can change the style setting of this my account element here you will see tabs we are on the tabs section so this is the tab section here you can see the background type. If I change it to color, you can see that we can change the background color. Here you will see the color that means the text color. So I'm going to change use this color. Hover color. This is the hover color. I'm going to change the hover text color to Let's change the hover background color to blue. So you will see this blue color now. And the text hover color will be bright or the white. Now let's go to active and change the active background color to black and the text color to white. So this dashboard tab is active now and you will see the black color. This is the hover color, the blue. And this is the regular color. So this is how you can change the color of the tabs. You can also change the typography. You can change the font size, font family from here. You can change it to headings. Whatever customization you want to make for the typography, you can use the customization. This is the border type. You will see the border here. If I change the color, you will see that properly. This is the border. So I'm not going to use it. Spacing between the tabs. This is the spacing between the tabs. Divider. So you will see the divider also. And now let's go to the sections. This is the sections. Background color. Right now it is the white background. So let's see how does this look with the pink color 
All right, so I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use the white one. Box shadow. If I use the box shadow, you will see the shadow here around this box like this. So let's use the shadow border. If you want to add border, you can add the border also. So here you will see the border added. So I'm not going to use it. Padding, if you want to add padding, you can add padding. Typography, this is the typography for this section. Title, this is the title. I'll show you the color. Let's use the blue color for the title. If I go here, here you will see the titles. You can change the typography for the title, spacing between the title and the other section. General text, I'm going to change it to black. This is the general text. Now, login message, or you can go to forms. So this is the forms under account details, you will see the form column gap. When I change it, you will see the change here. A rows gap, gap between rows. Labeled color, change it to black. So here you will see the black color. Fields, so this is the field and you can change the typography for the field. I have changed the color for the field text border type you can add the border here like this you can also add, add the border radius buttons now this is the button buttons now here you can see the background for the button I'm going to change it to this one let's make it dark this one looks good. This is the box shadow for the button. Now this is order details. Right now we do not have any order details. We do not have any order here. So it will not show any order details here. However, we can change the colors. So whenever you see the orders, you can customize the layout again. Right now, let's go back to content. And if I change it to horizontal, it will show like this. Let's make it, make it vertical again. Click on update. Now let's view the page. So this is how the my account page will look. This was the original one. We have customized it and this is how it will look now. And let me show you the vertical again. I'm going to duplicate this one. And for the second one, I'm going to use the horizontal layout. Update it. Let's go back and refresh it. And this is how the horizontal will look. When I go to account details, it will show all the account details here in the right hand side section. So whichever layout you want, you can use that layout for the My Account page. So this is how you can customize the WooCommerce My Account page using Elementor Pro plugin. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.